Here we have a spring gun on wheels. Whenever we load this ball into the spring gun, the spring gets compressed by a fixed amount, storing a certain amount of elastic potential energy. In trial one, the trigger of the loaded spring gun is pulled when everything is at rest. The ball is shot at speed v1. In trial two, a barrier is attached to the table right behind the loaded spring gun. The trigger is pulled and the ball is shot at speed v2. Assume friction is negligible. Compare the two speeds. Indicate which one is faster or if they are the same. Justify your answer in a paragraph length explanation. V2 is faster than V1. The easiest way to justify this is to look at the energy involved. In both trials, the compressed spring stores the same amount of potential energy. Because there is no friction or air resistance to turn mechanical energy into heat, all of this potential energy is turned into kinetic energy. In scenario two, because of the barrier over here, the card does not move. That means uh, all of the kinetic energy goes to the ball. In scenario one, there is no barrier. So when the ball gets shot, the gun recoils. So both the ball and the spring gun get kinetic energy. Since these two have to share the same amount of energy, the ball does not get as much as the ball does not get as much energy as it does in trial 2. Therefore, the ball gets a slower speed in trial 1. Of course, we should also explain why the spring gun would recoil in trial 1. For this part, we can either take a force approach or a momentum approach. For the force approach, the spring gun pushes on the ball to the right, so the ball pushes back on the spring gun to the left. Therefore, the spring gun accelerates to the left as the ball accelerates to the right. For the momentum approach, we can say that without the barrier, the net force on the system is zero. Therefore, in this explosion, the momentum is conserved. So the initial momentum equals to the final momentum. Initially, everything is at rest, so the initial momentum is zero. That means the final momentum must also be zero. That means that in the end, the momentum of the ball and the momentum of the spring gun, they must be equal and opposite. So the ball gets a momentum to the right, and the spring gun must have a momentum to the left, which means the spring gun recoils in trial one.